All right, um, let's start with the Blitz talk. So I haven't prepared like a very complicated slide about the Blitz talk, uh, especially also since I've known uh, Christoph for a very long time, which is about two weeks. <laughs> uh, we met at um, WWDC and uh, um, yeah, um, other people were from his company came already to this conference. But uh, when I was looking at UIS Tech View, uh, the session and, and all the things, I was thinking about him because he's going to speak about auto layout. And basically, the UIS Tech View session at WWDC, uh, which is also called uh, Mysteries of Auto Layout, um, is, is basically like uh, Apple telling you to give up on some of the auto layout things that some of us have problem with. Uh, basically, it's kind of, it's okay, we forget it. But when it gets complicated, then this is where you want to have a little bit about, to know a little bit about Autoleo, and this is what Christoph is going to tell us now. All right. You are allowed to applause. So hi, everyone. My name is Christoph. I'm from a um, company from Munich called Quartet Mobile. And we had uh, many, many different tasks to solve with auto layout. Mostly it works completely fine, but there are also some really complicated uh, things that you have to solve. And I brought one example with me. Um, I discussed with some colleagues in Munich, but also at the DubDub two weeks ago with some Apple engineers. They really loved this example. They spent a lot of time and we tried to solve it as good as possible. So. Here's our task. We have um, some views, and we want to have, uh, we want to use the auto layout to solve the sizing of the views, of course. We want to do all of that, as, or nearly all of that in the interface builder, and we don't want to uh, put code, if possible. And all views should have exactly the same aspect ratio. So simply saying, um, if we were removing the gaps, and it's quite easy, it looks like that. You can easily express it by using simple maths. So the height of the first, width of the first divided by equals the height of the second, the width of the second, of course. We know this one, so the width of the big view is three times the width of the small view little math. The width is completely out of this calculation and we can express it directly in, with, the, with the use of the multiplier and relationship between both heights, so no problem at all. But now we have gaps in there, which make this a little bit more complicated. So as you can see, there is a new calculation and I didn't want to make all the other steps, right, left, whatever. You will find out you can do this on your own. You have sheets and just try that one. What you will find out, you don't get the width one and the width two out of this calculation. And you have many unknown uh, values. At the time, the constraints um, are calculated. So you're, you will not be able to define exact constraints in the interface, inter, interface builder for this problem. So the solution for that, um, we just wait for the values. We, we, we define some constraints for the widths, for example. Then we wait for those values after the constraints are calculated. And then we use those, uh, those values to to um, calcula calculate different new constraints. Make some adaptions on previously no known constraints, and then perform a second iteration of auto layer somehow. So um, how can we do that? Well, the three boxes at the bottom, same height, same width. Um, um, we define uh, height, uh, height two initial, the height one initial is calculated automatically after the first iteration. Then we have new maths. Let's see if it's going too fast, if you want to stop me and make it a little bit uh, slower than just shout in. So 
we calculate the height that we have that we can use for both boxes by adding the two initial values. Not a math which is exactly the same that we had before on one of the first slides, just uh, replacing the initial h1. And now we have a calculation for the second iteration for h2 that we have set previously as initial value, but we have to replace it. So, Are you still with me or is it too fast? <laughs> So this is also something we know, so we can calculate uh, a new H, uh, height one, and the uh, height two, no, we calculate the height two, and the height one is automatically replied to the constraint. So now I have a question for you. Where should we make the adaption to the constraint? Well, view did, lo did load. Who of you is for viewed it load? Will it work? Do we already know the values from the first constraint iteration? I see some moving like that. You're right. <laughs> you will appear. Who's for view will appear? No? Yes, does not work. View will lay out subviews as well. Update view constraints, no. Now, the first time we have in the view controller uh, methods we, uh, where we have those values is in the view did appear. So let's have a look um, in a little demo how it looks like. Mm. No. How do I switch to access? So I prepared a little project. Uh, First, have a look on the storyboard. That's fine. So I prepared a project. We have now here, or I prepared everything. There are some constraints in there. You have to believe me, we're just manipulating the height constraint of this view. This view has no height. So this is the one that's uh, automatically there. Uh, Now we have here the code for the view controller. We just apply the calculation that I told you in the view that appear. Let's have a look how it looks like. So what will happen? If we click there, OK, you see it moving. Stupid. <laughs> Does not work. Well, there is uh, an exceptional case. So. Actually, we really used this code in one of our apps, but we are lucky that our view controller is an initial view controller, so there are no animations if we execute it. <coughs> I just turned out uh, the animations now, and of course, looks fine, right? Well, we went with um, that um, problem to Apple and discussed with the uh, chief programmer of auto layout and she told us what we really want to do and what we should do and so probably it's also a hint for you if you didn't know it already subclass the view and then do the, this um, calculation I'll just show you the code for that one subclass the view and do it in the layout subviews call super then do the calculation, call super again, Apple solution. <laughs> um, actually, it's really, um, it's really done if you have a multi-line UI text label. The, in, internally, it's also just doing this one. So let's have a look. Solution two, so it's the, exactly the same, just the calculation is a different uh, situation. Now it looks like that. What we also can do now, we can rotate it. Everything looks fine. And I made it bigger, smaller, whatever. Huh? Command two. No? Three. 
So we can rotate it, we can even have an incoming call. Everything moves perfectly smoothly and fine. So, So that was my demo. That's, that was the thing I wanted to show you. So as a summary, there are two solutions for this problem. But if you have animations, this one will not work. And then there's a second solution directly from Apple called Super Super and works always. So thank you for your attention. So thank you. Uh, we will stay in the room. In case you have a question, ask the question. And in the meantime, we will set up uh, Marcel. If anybody has a question, perfect. Um, go ahead. Yeah, maybe, maybe a stupid question, but uh, do you know the wife? You know the wife already? Because uh, you well, know the um, we would know only the width of the frame, but we don't want to put in gap, 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 all as IB outlets then do a lot of calculation. You could, you could do this completely without auto layout. One Apple engineer even said, well, it's kind of a problem where you should probably not use auto layout, but do all the frame calculation yourself just by taking the frame and then subtract, subtracting and everything. Yeah. So it's also a solution, but we wanted to have as less code as possible, and we wanted to use auto layout, so this is the solution okay. that we had to do. Yep, thanks. Yeah, yeah, another microphone. You get this one actually because you have to ensure with this one because we. I'm going to remove this. You want to remove this? Yeah. So take this one. But it, look at okay. the question. Uh, I'm this is live. Why? Why <laughs> didn't you just or just? You could have used your first solution with where, without gaps and just add extra views in those views and introduce the gap there. Um, no, or why, what prevented you from doing that? Well, we have we have already some constraints in there, of course. But in the moment you you have those gaps, the calculation gets completely different, and we want to have exactly the same aspect ratio. So it will not it will not even work if you put some views in there because then you have to subtract those uh, gaps. Still, if you have views or if you have a constraint in there, it's completely the same. Probably we just talk about this at a beer in the evening. Yeah, I will, easy, conv yeah. I will convince you. I convinced an Apple engineer okay. that it's not possible. He also tried that. Okay, fine. <laughs> Dear auto layout. All right. Uh, thank you, Christoph. Amazing round of applause for him. Thanks. Uh, yeah,